good afternoon and welcome to the newly, uh, I would say revamped, but uh, established uh, Sausage Studios. This is only one contingent of it. Uh, when we do a uh, multiple person panel, there will be another portion of the uh, studio that will be revealed, but we're not doing that for now. For, for now, we're going to reinvigorate ourselves with a, a little thing that we did about a year and a half, two years ago called Tell Me Everything You Know About. So this will be the third installment, correct? Yes. And how this works is uh, Young Masonic here has come up with a list of things to find out what I know, everything I know about all the things he's going to list. All right? Anything you want to add to that? Yes. There's actually a second version. A second version? Yeah. All right. What's that? Second version. Yes. So about halfway through. This I'm is gonna... the third version, dummy. No. There's a second version of the game. You see, about halfway through, I'm going to start naming people. And not only do you have to tell me everything you know. But she also has to tell me, is it a guy or a gal? Oh, really? Yeah. Will this be easy to tell? Uh, perhaps, perhaps not. Okay. All right. And again, uh, full disclosure, I know nothing about what he's about to read to me. Uh, some of this stuff I may know, hopefully. Some of this I may have no clue what it is. But we're going to find out and take it away. Tell me everything you know about the Guardians of the Galaxy. The Guardians of the Galaxy. All right. This is in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Uh, there's... Five or six of them. I can name them. Now, only reason I can name these people, uh, not because I have ever seen, because the only Avenger-type movies I've ever seen were The Age of Ultron, Fell Asleep, mm -hmm. you were there. Yeah. And I think we saw one a couple years before that. And yeah. I probably fell asleep with that. I just can't get into this stuff. However, I had a Marvel fighting game on my phone, as you know, for years. Yeah. Just something to pass time when I was in a waiting room or whatever. Yeah. So I know a little bit about the Guardians of the Galaxy. You got Star-Lord, yeah. who's the guy from the uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, Chris something or other. Uh, he's like their leader. Um, uh, he's got a little gun on his hip. You got Groot, who's a tree, yeah. and only says Groot. That's the only thing that comes out of his mouth, right? Yeah. And I think there's a baby Groot, kind of like Baby Yoda. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's like there's a little it's tiny... the same guy, though. Oh, he shrinks. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I think he's uh, a tiger or something. Okay, there's a rocket raccoon who yeah. is like Groot's buddy. Yeah. They're kind of like the Shaggy and Scooby of the group, I guess. Um... And he has like a rocket launcher and is kind of quippy with stuff the way he talks. Uh, then you have uh, Gamora or Gamora. I don't know how you say it. Yeah. Which one? Gamora. Gamora. She's green or purple. Yeah. She's green. She's green. And then there's uh, Drax. Is it Drax? Yeah. And he's the guy with all the tattoos, the big, uh, the built guy yeah. from movies. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know. They're kind of like a Fantastic Four, maybe. I don't know what they do. Uh, actually, he's kind of five. Okay, they're the Fantastic Five. I don't know what they do. I, I think they're good guys, but I don't know. Yeah. All right, and I think, and they ride around on a spaceship, I think. Yeah. Because you see a picture of them, and they're all in like a cockpit, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I think they have their own movie series, but it's an offshoot of the Marvel. I, they Do they interact with the Marvel people at all? Yeah. Like in the movies? Like, they're in the Avengers. Okay, all right, well, there you go. All right, so that's everything I know about the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a way to start. I, did, I didn't do bad. I didn't do bad. Okay. Tell me everything you know about Toy Story. Toy Story. There are four, maybe five of these movies. I think this was, it was either this, this might have been the first, um, uh, what do you call those movies? Um, Pixar. I think this was the first Pixar movie. Yeah. Never seen any of them, okay? I only know that there's a couple characters. There's a Mr. Potato Head. There's a dog named Slinky. Yeah. And that's a, like a wiener dog. Yeah. There's a pig... I think the 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 T-Rex is named Rex. Yes. And there's a pig named like Oink or Mud or something like that. What's his name? Ham. Ham. Yes, that's right. And um, and they are anthropomorphic. They're kind of like when you shut the door of your refrigerator and all the food talks to itself. It's like a sausage party. Mm -hmm. They kind of hang out. And there's a a boy that like owns them. He's like their owner, and it's like Adam or Steve, Billy or Chris, something simple. What's his name? Andy. Andy. Yes. Andy, and for whatever reason, at some point they get out because I've seen a scene. Well, when they're led by Buzz Lightyear and Woody, I guess it's just Woody. Woody the Cowboy? Is it Woody? Okay, they're like the two leaders. At some point they get out of the house because I know I've seen a picture where Woody's hanging onto the bumper of a car. Yeah. And then there's a bully, this real ugly guy with braces yeah. that picks on everybody or maybe picks on Andy. Maybe he doesn't know the toys talk. I have no clue if the toys can talk to Andy or if. Andy's oblivious to the fact that he has uh, freaks living in his house. 
And Andy, the pictures I've seen of him, looks like he's like a teenager, yet he's playing with slinky dogs and stuff like that. He's like eight. He's eight? Oh, he, oh yeah, he looked a lot older than that. So, am I right? what, was the, what was the bully's name? Sid. Sid, okay, all right. And that's pretty much all I know. However, I hear that um, they're not bad movies and that maybe yes. the second one is the best? Yes, that's okay. my opinion. Okay, all right. So I've never seen them, but that's everything I know. Right. And then you know what's weird about this is is that everything I know about that is because that's been in our realm, our universe, for the last, whatever, you know, 15 years. I don't know how old these movies are. But you just hear little bits and pieces and see stuff and you pick up stuff. And that, and never having seen the movie. But one of these days... Because I think the only Pixar movies I've ever seen are Ratatouille and the Three Cars and that stupid plane one that was basically cars oh, that in the was air. So bad. That was a bad movie. That was so bad. I mean, they just ripped off Cars <laughs> One. But anyway, go ahead. Next. Okay. I'm doing good. I'm doing hey, good. Disclaimer: I know nothing about this either, so I can't back up his answers. Well, how are we gonna know the answers? Tell me everything you know about Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is an anime. Yeah, that's. That's pretty much where I'm at. Yep. I have no clue about anything else. Yeah, I don't too. understand anime, nothing like that. But you've heard of it. Yes. Okay. All right. So you're getting late. You're getting answers. He's getting. You're getting fed answers from your brother. He probably knows all about this crap. He's anyway. All right. What do you got? That's, that's that's all I got. It's just it's an anime, so it means it's from Japan. I don't know if there's American anime, but I know there's Japanese anime. Everybody's got hair that looks like a spike. Tell me everything you know about Hey Dudes. Hey dudes are shoes. Yeah. They're dumb looking. And debatable. huh? Debatable. It's not debatable. And they look kind of like they're kind of like a loafer. I have no idea why they're called dudes. And I think that they're spelled D O O D, right? No. They're not? No. Oh. They're spelled D U D E? Mm -hmm. I could have sworn it was the other way around. Okay. I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's uh, apparently some craze that swept the country last year and everybody's wearing them. But is it something where, uh, like, uh, middle-aged dads wear them? Yes. Yeah, I, you won't see this one doing that. So you can put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay. And don't smoke. All right, whenever you're ready. Guys, it is time for our special segment. This is the second segment you were talking yes. about? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, you got a name. Tell, tell me everything. Is it a guy or a girl? Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa is a guy. A girl. Yes. I'm gonna guess it's a rapper. No. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a singer. It's a girl singer. Yeah. Like what? You, like you like could, you couldn't have been more wrong. Like Adele? Like like sing like Celine Dion? Like can really no, sing? She's not talented. Oh, she's not talented. Okay. Oh, that's okay. All right. What else? Do, uh, Doja Cat. Doja Cat. I'm gonna say based on the fact that it's a cat. Most girls would name themselves after a cat. Yes. Like the uh, what the what's the black cat in the Batman series? Cat woman. Cat woman. Right. You would never have a cat guy. That would be weird. So I'm gonna say that's a that's a girl. That is a girl. And I'm gonna go with it's a rapper. That is a girl rapper. Okay. Hey hey. hey. All right. Now tell me who is Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny sounds like a girl. It's not. It's a rapper. Yes, it's a rapper. Yeah, 50-50. <laughs> God, these are some dumb names. And are these good so far? Like these rappers? No, the stuff that you listen my, to? Bad Bunny's like Spanish. So Spanish? Like, so I don't know. Yeah, he's Spanish. Uh, wouldn't that be... So I don't know if he's good or not. Why wouldn't it be Spanish for Bad Bunny? <laughs> All right, anyway, go ahead. All right, what are you? Who's Sia? Sia? Mm -hmm. Is that S-I-A? Yeah. I've seen this written. That is going to be a girl. Yes, it's And it's a rapper. No, it's not a rapper. Mm. It's a, like, it's like an Ariana Grande type singer. Like a, a Taylor Swift, or not a Taylor Swift, but what's the girl, the, with the deep voice, uh, Hannah Montana. It's a, that kind of singer. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Just to. highly produced kind of yes. pop, mm -hmm. hippie, yeah. trippy crap. Okay. All right, what else? Who is Harry Styles? Harry Styles! Is uh, the guy that was in One Direction? Yes. And is now on his own. Mm. That's all I got. I know what he looks like. Uh, that's about it. But I can't draw him. So. And really who's BTS? BTS is a. Oh, what's that Korean crap that's so weird? Um. Um. Uh, Korean. 
pop music where they're all really pale faced and just ghostly looking and weird. It's like Menudo for Korea. Um, you probably don't know what that is. Um, uh, it's, uh, what's that crap? What's the style of music called? Korean pop. No, 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 no. There's a word for it. I don't know. Okay. So, but that BTS is like, they're like the Backstreet Boys of Korean pop, right? That's about right. Yeah. Yeah. That, but uh, that's a girl. I mean, that's a guy group though. Yeah. That's, yeah, cool. that's all I got. Nice. And finally for this segment, who is Drake? Drake is Canadian. Uh, light skinned black guy. Yeah. I got nothing. Couldn't name a song if you paid me money. Um, he's, uh, I, do, I do know this because I was reviewing this not, not but a week or two ago. I think he's on like the top 20 uh, yeah. like best selling artists of all time. So somebody's out there listening to him. Yeah. It ain't me. Yeah. Um, but that ain't my thing. So anyway. All right. Segment over. Tell me everything you know about Avatar. Avatar yeah. is a movie made by Cam James Cameron, who did the Titanic. Yes. And it is, or it was, I think one of those Marvel movies might have overtaken it, but um, it was at one point, maybe it still is, like the first movie hit a billion dollars in sales, and it's still like one of the biggest movies of all time. Yes. I think there's a sequel yeah. that's either coming out or has been out. Yeah, it's brand new. It's, it's already mm -hmm. out, okay? And they are blue people yeah. with like weird dreadlocks, and they're, they're like 10 feet tall, right? I've never seen it. Oh, Okay, all right. Well, I think they're really tall. Um, they live on a planet called Al Avatar. I, I don't know. This is, I'm just guessing at this point. But I don't know what it's about. And it doesn't even look remotely appealing to me. I remember when that came out, and I'm like, uh, blue people in some fantasy world. This is nothing that I would ever want to see. So I don't know who these billion people are that went and saw this. But anyway, that's what I got for that. And tell me everything you know about Star Trek. Star Trek. All right. Star Trek came out in like the 60s. Uh, it starred William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy as his like uh, Dr. Spock uh, sidekick. Then there was a dude named Scotty who would beam them up and they would like send them to the planets wherever they went. Then there's like a, ah, uh, what was the the, uh, the Asian guy that was on there? Can't think of his name. I think later on there were other versions, there were other versions of the show like Deep Space Nine and Next Generation and there were other shows but there was a, um, kind of, I got Gamora in my head, and that's not right. There's a black chick that's got, like, oh, what is her name? She's got, like, something on her head, like, I can't think of her disguise. Or maybe she's, like, freckled. She's got, she's kind of like, like a character in the Tatooine uh, bar, or whatever you say that. Um, but anyway, um, I've never seen a movie. I've never seen an entire episode. I've seen, like, a couple minutes of it. It doesn't appeal to me at all. But um, I have seen... Uh, a segment of Wrath of Khan, which what I hear is that the Wrath of Khan uh, is a thousand times better than the original movie because I've seen the scene where uh, Khan puts that helmet on the guy and that worm crawls into his ear and then infects him. And Khan is played by Ro Ro Roberto Montalban. Ro Roberto Montalban? That's not right. Richard Montalban. Ricardo Montalban. And he was the Tattoo Island, Fantasy Island with Tattoo. And he says, uh, and then Shatner in that movie says, Khan, and I don't know why, other than they're just enemies. I have no idea what Star Trek does. They ride around on the Enterprise. It's either the SS or the USS Enterprise, and it's this, like, disc. It looks like a 10-pound a weight with, like, a couple of turbines up at the top. I don't know how that thing even, you know, takes flight or how it lands. What I guess it has props and whatnot, but they go to other, I don't know if they're, like, E.T., and they're, like, going to other planets to collect, like, minerals and, and uh, terrestrial things. Or if they're there to just fight. They're, if they're like the Space A-Team, I have no clue. But that's everything that I know about um, the Star Trek series. I'm Wildly you. pop. Oh, wait, 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 I got one more thing. They have guns. I love guns. And they can set them to stun, which is weird. Because you think if you had a gun, it would always be set to the same ammo. It's almost like having a gun that can become a taser. But I don't know, I doubt very seriously that they ever killed anybody or shot actual bullets. So it begs the question, why didn't they just carry stun guns? But that's all I got. Fair point, fair mm, point. That's right. Now tell me everything you know about The Fast and the Furious. The Fast and the Furious stars Vin Diesel. I always get Ja Rule and Ludacris mixed up. Ludacris is in that. Um, and Paul Walker, who crashed a phenomenal, probably GT2 Porsche into like some trees or something. Uh, 
it's just about like SoCal street racing. And I remember when it came out, how obnoxiously idiotic it was because like they don't understand, like they, I've, I've seen a scene where they're like, or Walker or somebody is driving the car and he's got his laptop hooked up to the PCM and he's like tuning his car while he's racing, you know, which can be done, but you don't typically do it when you're street racing. Um, and street racing is dumb, kids don't do that. Um, it's very dangerous. Uh, but no, they, they, they race cars. Uh, Vin Diesel's got like an old Challenger or something. Paul Walker, I think, has like a Supra, some ugly Supra. I think there's a Mitsubishi Eclipse in there at one point. Um, the old Turbo, like GT, GT, GTS, or whatever it was. Um, and there's some girl that I don't know her name. And they just go around fighting evil. I, I don't know what they do. I have no idea. And there's like 11 of them, right? They're up to like 9 or 10, are they not? 10 movies. I don't know what the record is. It's got to be James Bond. Bond's got to have the most. But outside of that, 10's got to be. Of course, there, I think there's more than 10 Friday the 13th. And I think they're making a remake of it now, like from the original. They already made a remake of the original. See, I don't have TV, so I don't keep up with this stuff. Anyway, go ahead. It, it was what? 10 years ago. Oh, no. No, I think this is new, new. Like, it's coming out. I could be wrong. I don't well, know. Friday the 13th remake? Yeah. That came out in 2009. Well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, tell me everything you know about Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo was probably the second or third Pixar movie. I'm guessing, back in the day. Never seen it. Don't know why Nemo's lost, or I don't know why anyone's trying to find him. I know there's a sequel called Finding Dory. I don't know if they date. I don't know. Dory's blue, and Nemo is a clownfish. I do know that. Yeah. Um, and there's a shark, and there's a um, like a purple fat lady that lives under the sea, and she's like the bad Ursula. That's the Little Mermaid. Okay. So she's not in it. Okay, so the shark's the bad guy. I thought the shark was like Ursula's like henchman or something. You're thinking of the wrong movie. Is there a shark in Finding Nemo? Yeah. What's his name? Jaws? I I can't remember. Okay. But that's that's all I got. And and I'm guessing, kinda like saving Private Ryan, um, in the end they find Nemo and they find Dory. No clue. Um Nemo's never with Dory. Oh they they never are in the same movie together? No, they are, but Nemo doesn't go with Dory. He goes with his dad. He doesn't date Dory? No. The, the, his dad goes to find Nemo, and then Dory goes with his what, dad. What, he just not come home for dinner? Like, what? No, he he went out to play, and he get kidnapped? Like, he like, got caught in the rip current, I think. He's a fish! Fly back, you know? Well, no. And they ended up in, like, a fish tank in a dentist. Really? Yeah. That I would have I would have not in a million... If your life was on the line, and you were like... Tied behind your back, getting ready to drop through a chute with weights connected to your head. Uh -huh. There's no way I would have ever guessed a dentist fishbowl, that that's how that ended. I would have thought everything took place in the Majesty Sea with Ursula, like sending Jaws the, the henchman to go after and eat little clownfish. But I don't think, I don't think sharks eat clownfish, though, because that would be like us eating like a breadcrumb. You wouldn't even know you ate. I mean, it would be so small. But anyway, go ahead. All I right. like this. This is interesting. I'm learning stuff. Tell no. me everything you know about Wally. Wally is a trash collector on yeah. some mythical planet. It's Earth. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so it must be in the future. Yep. And like all of mankind has perished? Yeah, it's like apocalyptic. Really? No. So why no, is no, it? No, 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 no. I take back. It's not apocalyptic. It's like everybody's got too fat and they like don't do anything for themselves. Anymore. Really? Yeah. So the humans still exist. They're just lazy. And so he's just. And they made robots too. Why is it so... So they, they made them after the problem yeah. was way too bad. Mm -hmm. and, and he falls in love with, like, a girl. Yeah. That's all I got. All right. I, played, I think there was a Wally video game for the PlayStation back in the day. I, I, can, I can see myself, like, moving Wally around. I don't remember... I wouldn't have had it. Like, somebody would have had it, and I was just screwing around with it. But am I wrong? Was there a Wally... It should have to be a Wally video game, right? Maybe. Maybe I dreamt that. I don't know. Anyway, go ahead. It was dumb, I know that much. Uh, tell me everything you know about the Beauty and the Beast. Oh, wait, wait, let's back up. So Wally was like uh, the short circuit robot. Like he was sentient, like he could understand. Like he could talk to the, the robot. Right. He's like Hal there's from like, 2001. Don't remind me. What? No, it's a great like, movie. Like, you know it's no, a great it's movie. Not. It's it is a great movie. movie. You know, I was talking to somebody just last night. 
and they had just watched 2001 for the first time what yesterday. They, they thought it was bad. And I'm like, you yeah. people don't understand film. You got to understand the thematic was, things that are going on. The first, like, 20 minutes are just monkeys hitting a They're monkey. not monkeys. They're, they're apes. monkeys. They're simians. All right, so listen. He can communicate with a girl, so he's he's there's intelligent. Like, there ain't, like, no talking in that movie. There's no talking in Wally. I mean, probably from the humans. But not oh, so there are humans in the movie. Yeah, they're alive. This is crazy. Does Wally end up in a dentist's office? <laughs> All right, no. fair enough. Go ahead. Tell me everything you know about the Beauty and the Beast. The Beauty and the Beast was a TV show in the eighties. No. Oh, or no, it was. It was a. It was like a um, a long form like miniseries, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's a really ugly lion boy that falls in love. He lives in a sewer. No. You sure? He lives in a castle. Pretty sure he lives in a sewer. That's the Ninja Turtles. No, 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 they do too. But no, didn't he live like below the city? No, he lives in a castle. Are we talking about the, the cartoon movie, the, right? The cartoon movie. Well, I'm talking about the miniseries. I'm thinking he lived in a... What miniseries? There was like an 80s miniseries Beauty and the Beast show on the TV. All right, so listen. and Okay, so we'll focus on the little cartoon, uh -huh. right? All right. Her name is... Belle. Yeah. I can't believe I just got one of them queens right. Because I get them all wrong. Yeah. That, you know, because back in the day, I grew up with Cinderella, Snow White, and I think there's one more. I can't think of who it is. Anyway. Cinderella. Cinderella, Snow White. There was a third one, I think. And for like 50 years, we had three of these queens. Are they queens? What are they? Princesses. Princesses. That'd be their mom. And, um... And I recently looked up how old they were because I was like, like oh. 14. Yeah, well, some of like I looked it up like Pocahontas was supposed to be like 12. Like Snow White, I think was like 17 or 18. Actually, 14. One of them was like about to be a legal adult. Maybe it was the one that had the two uh, sisters, whores. Cinderella. Yeah, Cinderella. I think she was like 17 or 18. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, else is going out till midnight on a date. She's got to be. She can't be 14. You know what I mean? They wouldn't let her do that. It's medieval. Anyway, what were we talking about? So, for years they had, and now there's just Prince I just popping out of the woodwork, you know? Yeah. Uh, Mona. Mona. She's a prince. Mo, huh? Moana. Moana. I always say that wrong. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but back to Bell is yeah. in love with, I guess his, is his name the Beast? Yes, the Beast. Okay, the Beast. He doesn't have a name. I think he does. I just can't remember. Okay. There's a candelabra. Uh -huh. A, like a, a little, a little. Oh, the can yeah, uh huh. Yeah, and it looks like a Jewish, um, like yeah, right. Hanukkah thing. Yeah, no, no, no. What's it called? Uh, I've got Gomorrah in my head again. It's not Hanukkah Gomorrah. It's a uh, uh, Ram. No, what is it? Ramadan. No, that's, that's not Islamic. Uh, what's that stupid? What's the thing I'm thinking of? I don't I'll know. think of it in a minute. Anyway, so, uh, so yeah, so there's a candle. His name's probably like waxy or sticky or something like that. Um. And then there's a um there's like a, a teapot or a yeah. kettle. There's both. It's all I got. It's like the whole teapot family. You okay, that's all I got. No. Right. What all else right. you got for me? Tell me everything. How am I doing so far? I'm doing pretty good, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> tell me everything you know about Apex Legends. I couldn't begin to tell you what that is. Alright. Tell and me. What is it? It's a video game. Oh yeah, I got nothing. Tell me everything you know about Overwatch. Like the military way of approaching, like no. bound in Overwatch? No, it's not a video game. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. Tell me everything you know about Frozen. Frozen is Elsa and Anne. Uh, huh? No. Oh, Anna. Okay. Anna. Elsa and Anna. Yeah, right, right. Is it Anna or Anna? Anna. Yeah. Elsa and Anna. And they're with, um, they got a snowman mm. whose name's like, Jiggly or Bozo or something. What's his name? Olaf. Olaf. And then there's a. Uh, I think that's it. Um, one somebody just explained this to me about six months ago because I asked. I was like, "What is this movie about?" And they were like, "One of them is like stuck in a frozen castle, and the other sister has to rescue her from a spell of being frozen, or uh, something like that." that. No. I'm, I'm wrong. No. Okay. What is it? It's like. It's like Elsa got the. We had some uh, technical difficulty there, something uh, cut off, but we're back. You were explaining the Frozen scenario. Yes. No, Elsa got them ice powers, and she, like, 
hits Anna and then like builds a <coughs> castle. And then this like is horrible. Almost gets killed. Who watches this crap? Have I you did. seen this? Yeah. And you liked it? I watched it? it in the theaters back in the day. Back in the day, yeah. it's like eight years old. No, it's, it's uh, actually 11 years old. Really? Yeah. That's been around that long? Mm -hmm. wow. 2013. Yeah. All right, what do we got next? The last subject of today's video is tell me everything you know about Yeezys. Oh, I do know this. Um, Yeezys are Kanye West, because he goes by Ye or Ya or Yeezy or Ye something. It's like a. Ya. Ye! Ye! Ye. Okay. Good? Yeah. All right. That's true. You just have a spasm. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm having an aneurysm. Um, yeah, so he's got shoes, and they're called Yeezys, and it's those big red boots. No, no, no. That's a separate company. Really? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. I could have sworn that they came out at the same time everybody started talking about Yeezy no, no, shoes. No. Yeezys are like 2017. Oh, so they're just shoes? Yeah. Okay, well, that's what I know about them. Um, I don't see me wearing those anytime soon, but no. nevertheless. All right, do you have anything else? No, that's it. All right. Well, thus ends the third installment of Tell Me Everything You Know in our brand new studio. Mm -hmm. um, it will be uh, pretty exciting when we do this again uh, with a different format, and they will they'll get to see the rest of the uh, the uh, yeah. setup that we've got over here. There's some interesting things going on, right? Yeah, right. Otherwise, uh, that will do it for this segment. Giddy.